We have some breaking news in the National Football League this morning. Roquan Smith has requested a trade from the Chicago Bears. Could the Dolphins make some sense as a trade partner? We're going to talk about that on today's show, which is why you should subscribe. We're breaking down Dolphins news and rumors on Dolphins Today. Dolphins Today is sponsored by Mint Mobile. Our newest sponsor here at Chat Sports is offering cell phone plans starting as low as $15 per month. We'll talk about them later on in today's show. With that, we get into today's show, which is all about Roquan Smith. He has requested a trade from the Chicago Bears, putting out a lengthy statement this morning expressing why he has requested a trade. Ian Rappaport was the first on it. Bears All-Pro linebacker Roquan Smith has requested a trade, mentioned how he put out that lengthy statement. Here is part of that statement, what he said in terms of why he wants to leave the Chicago Bears. Unfortunately, the front office regime doesn't value me here. They've refused to negotiate in good faith. Every step of the journey has been take it or leave it. The deal sent to me would be bad for myself and for the entire linebacker market if I signed it. I wanted to be a bear for my entire career, help this team bring a Super Bowl back to our city. However, they have left me no choice than to request a trade that allows me to play for an organization that truly values what I bring to the table. So Roquan Smith putting out that statement saying that he wants out of Chicago and the Dolphins have been linked to him this coming from Mike Clay of ESPN. I'd say the best overall team with significant off-ball linebacker concerns is the Ravens. Curious to see if they show interest in Roquan Smith. Broncos, Patriots, and the Miami Dolphins also jump out. Before I get into my thoughts, I want to hear from you. Do you want to trade for Roquan Smith? You're talking about one of the best linebackers in the National Football League. Type T for trade or type P for pass. It is the pinned comment on today's video. When an ad break comes, go down, chime in. Do you want to trade for Roquan? Dolphins Twitter has been buzzing all day long. This coming from Bobby, a supporter of the show. The day after the Dolphins are rumored to be discussing a Preston Williams trade with the Bears, Roquan Smith demands a trade. Oh, buckle your seat belts. The Finn Snyder chiming in as well. Yes, the Dolphins should call the Chicago Bears about a trade for linebacker Roquan Smith. Nemi Kush chiming in. If you're against the Dolphins trading for Roquan Smith, you clearly support communism. Barry Jackson said this. Dolphins very much liked him during the draft process. Fins have capped challenges in 2023 and less draft capital after the NFL discipline, but could still find a way if they choose Opinions of his work vary as NFL.com story notes. We'll get into more about Roquan here in a second. First, I want to tell you about our friends over at Mint Mobile because Mint Mobile is providing you with unlimited talking text, high-speed data, a mobile hotspot, and most importantly, plans starting as low as $15 per month. It is so crucial to save money in today's society. Mint Mobile is a great way to do that. Unlimited premium wireless $15 per month, go and take advantage. Anyone you've talked to, myself included, who's made the switch to Mint Mobile has not regretted. It has been awesome. MintMobile.com slash chat sports. That link is in the comments and the description of this video. Now, when you're talking about a Roquan Smith trade, the Dolphins absolutely make sense. They need a little bit more linebacker depth. We've talked about them maybe adding a linebacker in free agency, trading for a linebacker. Now, when you're looking at this depth chart, and interestingly enough, Melvin Ingram was listed ahead of AVG on this depth chart. So he is the starting linebacker heading into the first preseason game, along with Jalen Phillips, Jerome Baker, and Alandon Roberts. Of course, you draft Channing Tindall to a very interesting linebacker room right now. It could become even better if you add Roquan Smith to the table, who is did this last season, 163 tackles. That ranked fifth amongst all defenders in the National Football League. 12 tackles for loss, three sacks, 
one interception. He has been fantastic since being selected eighth overall in the 2018 NFL Draft out of Georgia. Every single season, he has put up big numbers. He is a tackle machine. He can get to the quarterback. He's decent in coverage. He can improve a little bit in that area, perhaps. His PFF grade is not outstanding, but the stats are pretty solid for Roquan Smith, and he wants to become one of, if not the highest paid linebacker in the National Football League. Now, what would a trade look like? And because of the Dolphins having two draft picks taken away, that certainly impacts what a Smith trade might look like. It might complement a trade for Roquan or any other star in the National Football League. They lost their first round pick next year. However, they still have the 49ers first round pick. This is what King of Finland said, one of my favorite follows on Twitter. He proposed this. Bears receive Preston Williams, a third-round pick in 2023, which belongs to New England. The Dolphins got that in the Devontae Parker trade. Dolphins receive Roquan Smith, a seventh-round pick. And King of Finland says this is what a realistic trade package could look like for Roquan Smith. Now, I do not think that is realistic, King of Finland. I think, I don't know if that'd be enough. This might be enough. Dolphins receive Roquan Smith. Bears receive Preston Williams in a 2023 second round pick. I think this might get it done. Would you do this trade? Dolphins fans, type D for deal or type ND for no deal. Down in the comments section, would you give up Preston Williams in a second round pick for one of, if not the best, inside linebacker in the National Football League? Go down in the comments section. Let me know. I think this deal would be enough, and I would do this in a heartbeat. I understand you do not have the draft capital that you once had after Stephen Ross lost the Dolphins to draft picks for tampering with Tom Brady. However, you would just be giving up a second-round pick for a 25-year-old linebacker. Let's keep that in mind. This guy is still so incredibly young. You could have him for the next decade, and he could put up big numbers for you for years to come. Could contribute to a Super Bowl run in Miami. I love this deal because you'd be giving up Preston Williams, someone who does not even want to be in Miami, who's really your fifth or sixth wide receiver right now, who might not even make the football team. This deal would be outstanding, makes some sense for both sides. The Bears are not willing to pay Roquan Smith, and they desperately need wide receiver help so desperately that recently they traded for Nikhil Harry. My goodness gracious, they're so desperate for wide receiver help. Give them Preston Williams. He'd be their probably third best wide receiver right away. Here is my second trade idea. If you want to get crazy, if you want to get insane Dolphins receive Roquan Smith and Tevin Jenkins Bears receive Preston Williams Austin Jackson a 2023 second round pick a 2024 sixth round pick now who says no to this deal is it Miami or is it Chicago type MIA or CHI down in the comments section go down chime in now if this deal goes down the Dolphins would be addressing two team needs you would add some depth at linebacker by acquiring one of the best inside linebackers in the game. Yes, he is not Darius Leonard, but he's probably top two or top three in that category when you're talking about inside linebackers. And you'd be adding an offensive tackle, which the Dolphins desperately need. Tevin Jenkins is a right tackle. He was a left tackle last year in Chicago. That was not his natural position. They have moved him back to right tackle. He could start in place of Austin Jackson. In Austin Jackson, you would ship him to Chicago, someone who has some experience in terms of starting in the National Football League at left tackle. Now, here, this would be the latest amongst the big offseason moves the Dolphins have made. They have re-signed Emmanuel Agba. They signed Connor Williams, Chase Sedmans, Raheem Mostert. It has been a very busy offseason for the Miami Dolphins, it would be another big splash if they're able to bring in Roquan Smith. Buckle up because a trade might go down very soon, which is why you should subscribe and turn on your notifications because we're going to have a party here on Dolphins today if Miami is able to acquire 
Roquan Smith. He has requested a trade today. The Bears might look to move him because it's pretty clear they're not willing to pay him.